In this video, I'm going to explain what an SSH tunnel is in the most simple terms that I can possibly think of because at least for me, I knew I had a lot of trouble comprehending what exactly an SSH tunnel was when I first heard about it. So hopefully this simple demonstration will help you in the same way that it helped me. So here we go. Um, I have this website at this IP address ending in .93 and all it does is say remote. So let me let me log into that server normally via SSH as the root user and just show you that we're actually looking at the same thing here. So we go into the var www HTML directory. Uh, we have an index.html file in there and all that says is remote. Okay, so this is accessible right now. Um, let's make it non-accessible, right? So that's one of the reasons that you want to do an SSH tunnel because this website, you want to see it on your local computer, but you can't get to it, right? So let's make that actually be the case. So if we turn on the firewall, which right now, let me just show you it's off. So if we turn on the firewall here, E-N-A-B-L-E, -E, um, this is risky because I'm logged in via SSH and it's going to start blocking port 22, but sometimes you can get away with uh, proceeding with your existing connection. So now if we do UFW status verbose, oops, I spelled that wrong, verbose, um, you can see that we're denying all incoming connections to this server. So before this website loaded just fine when we went to it, but now if we try to go to it, it's going to spin and spin and spin and hang um, and it'll eventually time out. So you can see that in, in yeah, we'll, we'll proceed with the tutorial, but this will eventually fail because port 80 is blocked. None of the ports to the server are open, including SSH. So let me show you that too. Um, if we go over here, SSH root at uh, that same IP address, let me grab that. And without the URL. So if we try to go to that IP address via SSH, it won't allow us either. It'll hang and eventually air out. So let's open up port 22. Okay, so we can do that with UFW enable, or no, it's not enable, it's allow. So allow 22. Okay. Um, so if we look at UFW status now, you'll see that we are allowing port 22. So let's get out of here. Let's go back, try to SSH in. And it works this time. So uh, the only port that's open at this point is 22, port 80. The HTTP port is closed and there it finally timed out. So how do we get to that website on our local machine if it's not accessible? And the way we can do that is with a tunnel, an SSH tunnel. So let's set up our first SSH tunnel. It's going to look, it's a, it's a lot, but let me walk you through it. So SSH dash N, I'll explain that later, dash L. This is um, uh, uh, a local, in a sense, a local SSH tunnel. Um, so I'm going to be very explicit about this command. This might be verbose, but it'll make sense in a second. So local host colon 8888 colon local host colon 80, right? Um, and just bear with me, root at the IP address. So what we're working with one, oops, uh, I, I, I screwed up guys. I need to be local. Uh, I'm going to get, I'm logged into the remote server and I'm going to stay logged in so we don't terminate that connection, but I should be doing this from my local machine. We're initiating the um, tunnel from our local machine in this case. That's why we have that dash L flag. So let me try this one more time. So SSH dash N dash L local host colon 8888 colon local host colon 80 root at the IP address 159.223.180. Dot nine three. Okay, so what the heck does this mean? So you're familiar with SSH. You're, you're familiar with this part, SSH root at the IP address, right? That works. Port 22 is open. That's just fine. But um, the N flag, I'll talk about that in a second, but the dash L flag with this argument uh, specifies the local SSH tunnel. So basically, we're mapping anything on the remote server when you go to port 80 locally when we go to localhost port 8888, 
we will see what we see here. That was probably not a good explanation. Let me think about how to explain this better. So on if we go to, let's do it. Let's go to our server here and um, how can we do this? Let's see if we have W3M installed. It's a way to look at a, actually we'll use uh, curl. We'll curl localhost on the, the website. The, we're logged in via SSH here. And if we look at our local host on port 80, this is what we see. We see the HTML for that page. So basically, on our remote server, this is what we see right here. But on our local, like this machine, your local computer, if we go to this local host colon 8888, then we're going to see that. That is the point of the SSH tunnel. So let's let's go ahead and run that <laughs> just to show you what we're actually talking about. So that's just going to sit here. Okay, that's what the N flag does. It doesn't actually log in. It's going to sit here. And now let's open up a new tab. Let's go to localhost colon 8888. Right, so when we go here, when we go here, we're going to see what the remote machine sees here. There we go. So we now have access via the SSH tunnel over port 22 to the remote website's uh, website, right? The remote, um, it's probably an Nginx website running. So that is the SSH tunnel. Now we can cancel out of this, control C. And if we try to go to localhost 8888, we can't because that SSH tunnel is not established anymore. Now, like I was saying, I was doing this very explicitly um, a lot of times you'll see that people like to not include the initial uh, local host, right? So you'll see a lot of times shorthand 8888, which is the local port that you're going to go to on your local machine, and then the remote address in port. So this will work just the same. So let's go try that. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to hang there. And now if, and it automatically refreshed the page and is able to access that. So I'll cancel out of that. Doesn't work anymore. Um, the dash n flag, I want to show you what that does. Um, up until this point when we executed this command, it did not log us into the remote server. It just kind of hung there. Uh, but the n flag, uh, the, the lack of the n flag uh, will actually log you in. I think it's a little confusing when you have that uh, because if you close out of this session, then everything will stop working but um, it the, the 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 functionality of the tunnel will remain the same with or without the end flag so when we exit out of this terminal session and we try to access localhost 8888 it's uh, well once it actually exits out I'm not sure why it's not hanging there we go so now we try to go there it's not working um, that's about the most basic SSH tunnel that I can think of. I have other SSH videos uh, or SSH tunnel videos about SSH prox proxies and reverse SSH tunnels. So if you want to learn about those, check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.